Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new here, well, I hope you like it and I hope you stay. Um, as you already know, this past two days has been very gloomy in Johannesburg. So I've prepared a hearty meal. Yes, my first meal on the channel. I'm so excited to be sharing this recipe with you guys. I prepared dambi and kakwana. It took long to boil. So really, really, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I look forward to hearing your comments and what you guys think about the recipe and if you guys have tried it out. I love you guys and yeah, let's get right into it. I never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a mix of emotion. So obviously for this recipe, you're gonna need your beef trotters. I've got mine out here and then you're going to need half an onion chili powder or pepper that I got from a Nigerian store or curry and curry powder as well as my ghee from the Kuno brand which I also got from the Nigerian store and for my dambi you're going to need yeast brown sugar you can alternatively use white your flour your oil a pinch of salt as well so yeah let's get right into the cooking you're gonna serve your flour two to three cups and then you're going to add your pinch of salt just a bit like so and then you're going to add your yeast instant yeast half a packet will do so there's only half remaining in here which is why i used everything and then you're gonna add your brown sugar probably like half a cup of brown sugar that's just my preference i love my dumpling a bit tasty and a bit sweet right once that is done you're just gonna mix everything in together like so to have that mixed in very well and of course you have your hot water boiling in the meantime then that's just basically a quarter of oil that you're going to put in like so and then you're going to mix everything together and once you've mixed everything in together nicely like that It should look like so then you're going to add your hot water into your flour to make dough and you're just going to mix everything in like that so I had to put my phone down so that I could properly use my hands and dig in with my hands and really get that dough to be very like put together and have that consistency don't be shy to add a bit of water you don't want it to be too flowy you want to keep the consistency of the dough very nice and well put together like how i'm doing add a bit of flour if you find it that it's too wet um and you know you just want it to be nicely thick and very doughy and you shouldn't it shouldn't stick to your hands you know just keep on adding a bit of flour to just get that consistency and i had to swap balls as you can see when i put my fingers in it still does kind of stick to my hand so i'm just going to go in again and yeah now that we taste it out the flower bounces back which means it's ready to be set and then you have to close it down and yeah that's fine back to what i need for my takwana which is the beef trotters you need onion tomato and this is the chili that i got from um i think this one of the vegetable stores you're just going to chop everything together and you're going to put into your blender and let that blend you can use three or 
three and a half of tomatoes checking up on the beef trotters they are nice and soft now they are falling off the bone i've seasoned them with salt and pepper and all those good stuff and i've boiled them a bit with the onions so now i'm chopping out my onion and i'm using this red thing that you see here is palm oil that i'm going to be frying my onion with put in a bit of um, garlic and then you throw in your tomato to create this tomato paste and then you put in your beef trotters like so you mix in everything together nicely and then obviously the remaining water from that boiling stew you don't throw that away you keep it for this purpose and you throw it back in now remember that has a lot of flavor then on the side obviously you mix with your brown onion and yeah you put it into your gravy and you cook that with a very low heat going back to the dumpling you take it out and this is what it will look like you put it into your meat like how I'm doing in the video you can cook it separately I just like mine to be cooked in with flavor and that is how you make it thank you so much for watching